to smoke. So my name is Bianca, and I'm standing out here in Lincoln Road Mall to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. So I'm standing out here to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is coming back very soon. And he wants all of you to come to the knowledge of the truth that is revealed in the gospel of Jesus Christ. Now another reason why I'm standing out here today is because last Wednesday, last Wednesday there were a couple of men out here with red shirts and they were uh they were preaching the gospel So a couple of days ago, last Wednesday, there were a couple of men out here preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. And uh, when they were preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ, when they were preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ, Last Wednesday, there were a couple of men out here preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. However, the men that were out here were using a profane language and were insulting the people that were passing by here that were preaching the gospel. These men were wearing red shirts, they were in a group, and they were professing that they hated white people and they were insulting the people that would pass by them last year, last Wednesday. The problem is, is that when they were using the gospel to support the violence, they were using the gospel to support the violence and the insults, and the insults that they were um, doing out here in Lincoln Road Mall, in this, in this spot as we speak. And when the Jewish people would pass by, they would insult them and 
call them names right out here. And they were asking them, and they were asking them to come and bow down. And bow down and kiss the boots of the people that were standing out here preaching the gospel last Wednesday. And it's sad to see that because it's it's sad to see that because it's sad to see how people would grab the gospel to fit their own to justify their own violence and profane and profanity and their own bad behavior. And what happens is that it makes the gospel look bad. It makes it makes God's word look bad. So I want to clarify. So I want to clarify that, that the gospel is not insulting. The gospel is not is not putting others down. Is there's no racism in the gospel. In the gospel, there is no one person better than the other. And last Wednesday, these men portrayed a bad image of Christians, a bad image of the gospel. And they are known as the Hebrew Israelites. And I understand that you can have knowledge of the gospel, but when you are insulting other people and when you are insulting other people and calling them names. then we need to understand that this is not the gospel of Jesus Christ. The gospel of Jesus Christ is love, is peace, amen, amen. is goodness, righteousness. To see, to see others equal, to see others equal. Because no one, no one is better than the other. And the Lord Jesus Christ, and the Lord Jesus Christ, wants that everybody should be saved. Hello. 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 Hello? 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 Testing, testing. Testing. Testing, testing. Testing, testing. Hello, hello? Wednesday we had the Israelites come out here. They were a group of Israelites. They were all dressed in red. And they were preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. The problem is that they weren't preaching the gospel correctly, in a good way. They were trying to justify their beliefs by twisting the scriptures to their beliefs. And this is not the way to preach the gospel. Preaching the gospel is not violence. It's not profanity. It's not making others feel less than the other. When Jesus Christ came into the world, when Jesus Christ came into the world, Jesus Christ came to die for all people. 
He came to die for the Jews. He came to die. He came to die for the Jews. He came to die for the Christians. He came to die for the Jews. He came to die for the Christians. He came to die for the Muslims. He came to die for all the people. He didn't just come to die for those who are of the bloodline of the 12 tribes of Israel. If a Jewish man wants to become a Christian, he can become a Christian. If a Jewish man wants to believe in Jesus Christ, he can believe in Jesus Christ. And when you preach the gospel and you're using violence and anger to preach the gospel, this is not the way to preach the gospel. This is not the way the prophets in the Bible preach the gospel. And the reason why I'm talking about this, the reason why I'm talking about this is because some of you sitting out here are always out here and were present that day, last Wednesday, when the men were out here insulting the people that would pass by them insulting the, the Jewish people and I'm standing out here in defense of those people who were insulted out here last Wednesday when Jesus Christ came to the earth he died for all people that all people might be saved Jewish people, Christians, Muslims, Buddhists that all people should be saved white people, black people, Jewish people, Asian people, that all people should be saved. And one thing about God is that God seeks the heart of man. God searches the heart. God does not judge the appearance. Man judges the appearance. Man judges the appearance, but God judges the heart. God judges the heart. God is no respecter of persons. God loves every, each and every one of you. No matter how bad you are, no matter what you've done wrong in your life, no matter what bad things you've done, even if you know, you've done the worst thing imaginable. The Bible said that God, God's arm is not shortened, that he cannot save. While you still have breath to breathe, you can be saved. Jesus Christ wants to save each and every one of you. You've all been given a gift of salvation because Jesus Christ died on the cross so that you might escape the wrath of God. Jesus Christ died on the cross. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ died on the cross that you might be saved, that you might escape the wrath of God. God is no respecter of persons. God loves all people. It doesn't matter where you're from. God loves all people. The only thing that God wants is that you all come to the knowledge of the truth that is in the Lord Jesus Christ to come to the knowledge of the truth that is revealed in the gospel of Jesus Christ. Because the gospel of Jesus Christ is the power of God unto salvation to everyone who believes. The gospel of Jesus Christ is the power of God unto salvation to everyone who believes. To the Jew, to the Greek, to the barbarian, to the Scythian, to the prostitute, to the murderer, to the scornful, to the scornful. It doesn't matter. Jesus Christ died for all people. And Jesus Christ wants you all to come to the knowledge of the truth that is in the gospel of Jesus Christ. Because it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone who believes. The gospel of Jesus Christ is the power of God unto salvation to everyone who believes. God does not wish that anyone should perish, 
but that all should come to repentance. God does not wish that anyone should perish, but that all should come to repentance, to come to the knowledge of the truth, to be saved. Because God is the Savior of all men. Jesus Christ is the Savior of all men and wants all of you to be saved. But the only thing that separates us from God is sin. And that's why God is saying, repent for, from your sins. Turn away from your sins. Turn away from your wicked ways. Turn away from your wicked ways to come to, to, come to follow after righteousness, to come to follow after goodness. To come to, to come to follow after the will of God, to do the commandments of God. It's, you know, it's not enough to say, I believe. It's doing the word of God. It's walking in the word of God. It's walking in the light, not walking in the lust of the eyes, in the pride of life, but to walk in the light, to do what is right. God wants all of you to follow after righteousness, after goodness after peace and to hate darkness to hate evil to hate works of evil god wants all of you to come to the knowledge of the truth that is revealed in the gospel of jesus christ because there's only one doctrine there's only one light and that is jesus christ and his gospel and when you know you dress a certain way to cause your brethren to stumble. And those are the works of darkness. To sin, to drink, to drink, to smoke, to fornicate, to do the things that are evil. These are the things that displease God. Because the Bible says that the wrath of God is shown from heaven upon all disobedience, upon the lust of the flesh. But Jesus Christ is saying, come to the knowledge of the truth that is revealed in his gospel. The gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ is the power of God unto salvation. The gospel of Jesus Christ is the power of God unto salvation. The gospel of Jesus Christ is the power of God unto salvation to everyone who believes. God wants us to come to the knowledge of the truth. God wants all of you to come to the knowledge of the truth. God wants all of you to come to the knowledge of the truth that is revealed in his gospel, in the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. God does not wish that anyone should perish, but that all should come to repentance. God does not wish that anyone should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Why not seek the Lord Jesus Christ today? Why not seek the Lord Jesus Christ while he may be found? Because there isn't much time left. There isn't much time left because the mercy of God is being lifted up from the earth. The mercy of God is being lifted up from the earth. And the, and the wrath of God and the judgment of this world is already on the earth. But things are going to get worse. Things are going to get worse. So Jesus Christ is saying, come to the knowledge of the truth that is revealed in the gospel of Jesus Christ, that you all may be saved. Behold, Jesus Christ is coming. Jesus Christ is coming. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. And Jesus Christ wants to give you that salvation before it's too late. Before it's too late. 